All right, boys and girls, today we are going to be having like a little coat closet makeover. So we've been in this house for almost 11 years and four months. Um, and my wife wanted to redo the coat closet. I've already started on it. I told her y'all probably didn't want to see this. She said, y'all might, because I'm technically not building something, but kind of so. So I'm gonna give it to you anyway. But yes, this is our coat closet downstairs. And uh, I can put a before picture up of what it looked like. And basically this is just everything taken out. Uh, the only thing that was in here when I bought the house was that shelf. And I've taken the shelf out and I filled the holes and waiting for them to dry so I can sand them down. And basically we are going to have, and don't mind my dirty house, uh, we're going to have this bookshelf on the back wall. We're going to have these hooks on the side. So one will be like up here for adult uh, coat and hats. So it'll be one on this side and of course one on that side. And then on the bottom, about three feet off the floor or so, will be these little coat hooks. And then these will be for our two kids' uh, backpacks, uh, jackets. And then, of course, if they have hats with toboggans, they can put them on the top hooks. And that's pretty much the basis of what's going to be going on here. And then we are painting it uh, Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt, which is like, it's a real nice, um light green color and i'm going to be putting led lights in here which um are light ever lit ever light ver and i will put a link in the description for this i think it was like 30 bucks um but it's basically just um of course power cord LED strips. I think it's four, six LED strips, and it has a motion sensor, so I can put the motion sensor up, and when the door opens, or when, whenever it senses motion, the light will come on, and it stays on for 60 seconds. And that's going to be the basic rundown. Sorry about those lines. It's because I got the LED uh, headlamp on. That's going to be the basic rundown. So what I'm going to do now before I start taping off is that um, the electrical plug is here. That looks really terrible. The electrical plug is here. So I'm going to run uh, some wire hotter uh, on this wall around the bin from here to where I can plug it in and just run the cord around. And then this is going to get painted so it should blend in. What is that? So it should, this Play-Doh, what is this? So it should blend in uh, really nice once it's all painted, like I said, and then that um, that 6Q bookshelf is going to be on that back wall there. And it should give us about an inch on each side and like an inch or two above it. So it should hide the plug and everything really nice. So once I tape everything off and get it ready for paint, I will be back and I'll probably put it on time lapse um, for the painting of it. So see y'all in a little bit. Everything is taped off. I hate painting. You know, all of y'all painting professionals out there, you know, whatever. Y'all can do it and do a good job at it. I have to mask everything off because I'm not good at cutting and doing all this stuff neatly. So everything is masked off. The floor has brown paper down. Uh, so I really hate painting. I'm decent at it. I hate doing it. So if you see anything that I could approve on, uh, while watching this video, all of y'all professionals out there, leave it in the comments. Maybe it can help somebody else. Um, I suck at it. So don't look at this for any tips. Go to the comments and read the tips because, yeah, I hate it and I suck at it.
All right, I'm gonna let this dry and I'll be back. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. I really, really, really like this color. It's not really showing up the color that it really is. It's a little bit. I might see if I can take a picture on my phone and put it in here. But this sea, this Sherwin Williams sea salt is really, really nice. It's showing up a little bit lighter than what it is. But this is a really, really nice color. So I feel like I got pretty good coverage everywhere. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I repainted the trim on the floor. I painted the wire hotter and put the plates and everything back on the wall. I am liking this. I will take the tape off of this because otherwise I will forget. I might see if I can find like a little cover or something for that just to make that look better. But yes, this looks really good. So now I need to get off of my hand. Get off. Jesus. All right, so now I'm going to put up my hooks. Like I said, again, one set is going to be here. And then the kid set is going to be maybe three feet off the ground. That way they don't have any excuse for not hanging up their things when they get home. So I'm going to get that put up and I will be back. All right, so the hooks are installed on both sides. So of course, let's see, closet ain't big at all. So of course, got the adult hooks up top and it's about six feet high, give or take. And then these are 36 inches off the floor to the bottom. And then the middle hook is centered in the middle. So everything is centered. So that way it looks uniform and not out of place. And my wife wanted the white. I need to put the little fill caps in there. My wife wanted the white so that it would pop on the Sherwin Williams sea salt. Looks pretty good. So now I am going to do the lights and they send it with a couple of different mount options they send uh, these metal tabs they send these sticky back tabs that I think you would then use like a zip tie and you can also use these for wire management and then they send this which I don't know what it is but I'm going to use the metal tab so basically it just goes around the back and then it snaps in like that so you got to make sure that you screw it that you screw that part in correctly on where you want the lights and the lights in here are going to be facing the wall not facing the inside of the closet so it'll be like a more diffused light which I think it'll look good with that sea salt so let me get these installed let me get these six a uh, cube cabinet in and then clean all this mess up and I think it's a spot on the floor I need to get up and then I will be back right so it is all done let's take a look so I have the motion sensor set to where you kind of step into it and then it comes on automatically so right now, very minimalistic because there's nothing hanging up, but I did want you to see it while it's still empty. And I wish the color of the sea salt really came through in this video, but it doesn't. And I wish, I wish it really did. But for the lights, you can see that I have them kind of diffused up and to the sides. I need to clean this up a little bit, but nobody should be looking you know, this way out. And I end up using uh, the double-sided tape that came in the kit 
instead of the screws because those screws were just inty winty and I feel like messing with them. So I just put two strips of the double sided tape on each light. And then the sensor is down here. I may take this sensor and like put it like right here. That way when the door opens, it comes on instead of having to walk into it. But I will play with the position sensor there and I will see about maybe clean that up a little bit down at the bottom. But overall, it looks really nice. Uh, the lights are bright, but not overly bright. But you can really see the color of that sea salt. And my wife was right with the white popping on the sea salt. I kind of wish that was white. But Keisha, when you watch this, I am not going to paint that white. So you better get some white baskets or some brown baskets. Some light brand, brown tan baskets or something to accentuate that. Because I will not be painting that white. You heard it here first. So I may throw some jackets and stuff in here, but more than likely, this will be the end of this video. This video, I started this at about 12 o'clock and it's seven o'clock now. Kind of took my time, was waiting on paint to dry. You know, I painted the walls, of course, then I repainted the baseboards, had to wait for it to dry and all that stuff so realistically you probably could do something like this if you have everything in probably four hours i'm thinking four to six hours you know you can take care of this and if you don't have to repaint the baseboards you know that's another 30 minutes you can uh keep to yourself one thing i will say if you do decide to do the wire hotter things at the bottom make sure that you can actually fit like if you have connectors make sure your connectors fit because my connectors do not fit i should have got like the tall thin rectangular one instead you know hindsight is always 2020 but if you do get the cord hotters make sure that your connectors actually fit in there so uh when my wife get here we are going to get her reaction on how it looks and we'll be back Oh, babe, it looks so cute. I think it looks real nice. You did a good job. Mm, thank you. I really like the green color. Oh, this turned the wrong way. Did you cut this? No. I thought it would go. Not the kids. I mean, yeah. Cause we could put parka boots there. Oh no, oh no, oh no. That's outside uh, of the design. Well, I need to get my yeah, it'll be, it'll be fine. What about? Oh, look, don't worry about that. Shouldn't nobody be looking at that, man. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs>